Hi, welcome it's from Sunny Sky. It is six o'clock in the evening here and it is absolutely beautiful. It's been beautiful all week. Um, my blogs for the next few weeks are going to be about Sky. It's a place I sort of never really thought about coming. I've always wanted to come to Scotland. I've been to Edinburgh for a long weekend and I've been to Glasgow for a day. It doesn't really count. Um, but um, Scotland's always intrigued me, but it always felt far too far away from where we live. And I felt that unless you did two weeks, it wasn't worth it. We'd got a week's holiday um, and thought Sky might be a nice place to go. Now, if you're ever put off by going to Scotland because it seems so far away, don't be. It took us 12 hours to get here door to door. That included a few stops on the way. We've got the two dogs, as you know, and we want to give them a bit of a walk. And we also um, needed a bit of a leg stretch ourselves and a bit of wee break. And um, once you see some sights on the way up, we got up really early, 4am, and left home after we walked the dogs by about 5.30. I'm squinting a bit now because the sun has come out again, um, really bright um, as I started doing this. Um, so yes, yeah, so we got on the road about half past five. Um, my husband drove initially and I fell asleep. Um, so when I did wake up, we were past all the sort of the the dodgy bits, not the dodgy bits, but the boring bits for me. Um, I'm going to have to move this camera. I do apologise. The sun is really in my eyes, so just bear with me. Right, I'm back. Um, not sure how much better that is, but... <laughs> can't complain about the sun sit probably in the evening can you um anyway we um got to the lake and i woke up and then you start to see the change in scenery um you then get to glasgow and glasgow's glasgow you know it's just a city but once you get past the glasgow area the scenery is absolutely spectacular we've taken some um, videos on my um, GoPro and photographs which as I said over the next few weeks I'm going to go through I'm going to sift them and you know tweak them a little bit so they're more interesting to you um, but it was amazing it was so breathtaking um, we shared the driving unfortunately I took the drive where the scenery was out of this world so you concentrate on the driving rather than getting to see out the window big mistake we'll swap it around next time um, when you get to um, just before Sky, there's a bridge and there's a castle, Eileen Castle, um, and we stopped there for a while um, to take dogs out for a walk. And we couldn't go into the castle itself because we had the dogs, but we had a good wander around, took some photographs, and it was a really nice leg stretch. I'm sorry, I'm squinting again. The sun keeps moving in the wrong direction. Um, so, from our point of view, it was a really nice stop off. We then got um, across the bridge into Sky. Now where we're staying, it's sort of Glendale, so when you get into Sky, you don't think, oh, we're there already, great. It was about an hour and a half from when we got to the bridge on Sky to get to the cottage. Um, we wanted somewhere rural. Um, if you can see behind me, pretty rural, do you think? Yeah, it's absolutely in the middle of nowhere. In fact, we thought we got the wrong place. We had to ring the caretaker and said, you know, where is it? We've come on sat nav and it's brought to a farmer's gate and she said yeah that's right and we said but then there's another farmer's gate and she went yeah that's right so you go down a little track to another gate to get into this cottage and i'll put some photographs of the cottage as well it's a little one bedroom it's beautiful it's perfect for my husband and i um, it's got everything we need um, it's very traditional you know brick built the windows you know the windowsills are really wide and it's just beautiful and i don't know if you can hear anything in my background if you can, all you can hear is some cows in the distance and there's some birds um, who have made a nest in our chimney sack and I've had to rescue the girl twice now who's fallen down the chimney into our um, sort of wood burner, bless her. So, um, so that's Sky, we're here. Um, I'm going to show you a little snippet of Sky um, after this for you to just get a taster, but I will be giving you sort of area by area as I say over the next few weeks. So I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and pick up some ideas about Sky and actually it'll entice you to come. Now, if you are coming to Sky, there's some things you do need to bring with you. One, this is a really good walking book. Okay, got mine from Amazon. But I've noticed in a couple of shops here you can buy it from here, okay? Um, the book um, said that the walks are graded A to C. A and A plus don't do unless you are really, really um, hard at walker. And I mean, I don't mean a walker, 
I mean, somebody who has got all the gear, the rucksack, you know, ropes, everything. Um, we've done a bee, um, which was up a hill quite um, quite straight up, really. Um, it was fine. We did it. It was tiring. Um, I didn't do the last probably few feet. Had we been on our own, I probably would have done. But the two dogs um, who do pull and get excited, um, I didn't want to fall over with them. So I stayed down a little bit while my husband went up to the, the top. But that was just purely for safety for the dogs um, and for ourselves. I also bought this book here called Sky. Now this book is brilliant. Again, Amazon was my friend. Um, it does area by area within there, but also it has itineraries. So you can pick where you want to go in a certain location. So we sort of picked out places along the way. Um, we, so we booked a week and this is day, if you don't include the traveling, this is day four today for us. And it's been really helpful. The island's only about 50 miles round, um, although it's not round if you see it on the map. And so you do cross over roads quite frequently, but that's absolutely fine. Um, and actually, if you see something you really like, you can go back and get a picture. So like today, I've been trying to get all week some um, traditional cow pictures. And I knew there was some, we'd seen them, but we weren't in, in the right position or the traffic was too bad to stop. Um, so today we sort of passed it, so I saw it, we stopped. Fortunately, they were sat down, not sat up, so um, not sure the picture's going to be great, um, but I got them. So, But at least we know exactly where they are again, and if we've got time before we go home, we'll get another picture. Um, in addition to that, you need this. Okay. Have to have this. Scotland is renowned for its midges, and we're in midges season now. Um, if you don't go without this, you get bitten to death. Get again, Amazon, my friend, so get that good pair of walking boots as I said and you'll be fine I've got glorious sunshine look at this this is beautiful um, I'm just so excited so I'm going to put some um, videos on and some photos later for you after this um, video um, just so you can see some of the the main sites but say so just keep following me keep um, applying to my channel subscribing to it and I will show you what sky is all about got to say though today we did go to Talisker to the whiskey factory now, when I say we went to the whiskey factory, we didn't go in the whiskey factory. We've got the two dogs and we couldn't leave them. You would never leave dogs in a car. Um, if you've seen my um, blog, it's really not good to leave dogs for even for a short time. And with the weather like this, they'd have died in a minute. So the plan was my husband was going to go around the distillery and I would stay outside. But as it happened, the time he could get in to go around, he'd have to wait and didn't want to waste the day. So I suggested we bought literally pack to try at home on our own and with day like this perfect day to sit out with a little wee drum it's terrible scottish accent isn't it so sit back relax watch some of my um, photos and my videos and um if you do enjoy them subscribe to my channel there'll be more coming up so we've been here a week i think we took over a thousand photographs now of different things waterfalls um, went to fairy pools didn't see any fairies um done vegan castle um lots of places portree so much to show you so much for you to see it is so beautiful here it really really is um there are a lot of potholes on the roads unfortunately but the roads mostly are single track so i should imagine actually getting them repaired is difficult there's lots of pulling in places the cars can pass so it all works really well on this island um it's such a stunning place to be and i'm so excited to be able to share it with you so subscribe to my channel keep watching over the next few weeks and let me know what you think of sky Thank you.